Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about, from Ask Mike's, I, I get a lot of questions about, you know, what's the most important drill? Is there one? Well, there isn't just one. Uh, there's a lot of really important drills or, you know, uh, if I was just going to do one thing, what would it be? And what I want to do is I want to challenge all of you here. And this is something, you can do this at home. You don't need to go out to a range. You don't need to do any of that. But here's something you should be able to do. This golf swing, the words connected, for instance, terrible word. It's a good word in one sense, but terrible in another. What I see is that people are so tight in their shoulders and shoulder sockets that, you know, their golf swings, they look like a robot. There is no flow to it, so there's no speed. So here's one of the basic things you should be able to do. So if I stand here and I put this ball pretty much right below my right shoulder socket, now I should be able to swing my arm here and hit this ball. You see how much my arm is swinging, but my shoulder isn't moving. So here's what we're gonna do. You make a swing, hit the ball. My arm swung quite a bit. My elbow even started to bend and fold and I hit it, but what didn't my shoulder socket do? Well, my shoulder socket's not moving all over the place. So my arm is swinging independent of my shoulder moving. That's a very important skill to learn how to do. Now, if you can do that, and see, I can stand here and catch every one of those pre -saw. There's no tension in my shoulder. My arm swings. My arm swings and my wrist flexes, hits, and extends. Now, as long as it's flexing and extending and not going up and down, I'm gonna have a pretty good bottom of the swing so I can find the ball. So right here, all we're doing is making this little motion right here and just running the club into the ball. So that's step one. Here's step two. Now, once you can do that, so once you can swing your arm and this shoulder so it swings and swings. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing back and swing through, but now as my arm goes through, I'm gonna let my arm pull my shoulder forward. So it's the same swing back, but as I swing through, my arm pulls my shoulder through. One of the biggest mistakes I see with people is they play golf because you've heard cover with your shoulder, twist, do, I mean, you're so much tension, it's incredible. So doing this little drill, here's where most people go. So here's where I am with it. And here's how most people do it. So your shoulder, tries to pull your arm. So once you can do the first one, where you're making swings, where this isn't moving, now you're gonna go ahead and let it run into the ball, and as my arm goes past, it's gonna pull my shoulder, which means my hip is gonna move with it. So then I start to feel how my arm and my shoulder and my hip are working together. Okay, so as simple as that looks, okay, basically if you can't do that, you know, we're really in trouble relative to what we can or can't do with your swing. Now, how did I learn this? Okay, I was a kid. I used to pick up balls on this little area, this little nine hole course for the head pro that gave lessons. And I always had a drink in my hand. Okay, so I didn't want to spill the drink. So I would pick the balls up, they'd be spread all over. So all I'd do is I'd stand there and I'd hit the balls over to the shag bag. So what did I learn to do? And I'm walking around hitting balls back over to the shag bag. Okay, so for me, this motion, plus playing baseball, plus swimming. Okay, see this is like I say, one of the most important motions you can have in golf because you have to learn how to separate motions before you can make them work together. Now you could also, you could do this with the left arm also. So again, my left shoulder, it's right underneath my left shoulder. So my arm swings back, swings through, it doesn't move. So I'm getting a feel for how this works. And then I could say, okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing as the club hits the ball and as my arm goes, I'm gonna let it, let my body turn with it. So 
Here's two little teeny drills with just arms, just one side, and seeing if you can learn how to make these motions. Okay, this is going to be a big part of Malaska Golf of the M system when we do the 2.0 because once you learn the task and you understand what you're supposed to feel, then you build it to the next step, it starts to make sense. So is that the most important drill you can possibly do? No, but I want to challenge all of you with learning how to do what I just did there. You can do it in your backyard, you can do it in your living room, I mean, and you can watch yourself in the mirror and learn how to do this. And then your arm pulls you through. Because that's basically, when I hit a golf ball, when I get down here, once my shoulders start my arms, then my arms take off and it's my arms that pull my shoulders. I don't continually keep pulling like this with my shoulders. That's one of the biggest misconceptions. Get to the top and just unwind as fast as you can. Well, no. You know, I tried that. I spent three or four or five years of my professional career trying to get here and get coiled and then just unwind and go as hard as I could. And as much as I tried and as much as I practiced, I, I really didn't hit it much further and I struggled controlling the distance I hit it and the direction. Now occasionally I'd match it all up and it was pretty good, but again, my, my commitment to this site and people that watch from my bad experiences and what I went through is to try to help you to not go down a road you maybe don't have to go down. That there's other ways to do it that are a lot easier on you physically, a lot less time to learn how to do it. So again, that's my commitment. Try those drills. Let me know what you think about them and how you're doing with them. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.